I lost 30 pounds in three months. And the number one question I get is how? Hi, welcome to The Wiggy Woman. Normally you're used to seeing a little bit of a different kind of content from me, but I recently posted that I had lost 30 pounds in three months, and it's not really a journey that I have brought into my YouTube channel just yet, but since I'm getting so many questions about it, I thought I would give some of the things that I've learned along the way as I've lost this 30 pounds. Don't get me wrong, this isn't going to be like a before and after video because I don't really feel like I've hit my after. I still have about 60 pounds to go before I am in the normal range for uh, my BMI. So I am still well on this journey, but I have learned quite a few things from losing 30 pounds in three months that I thought I might share with you guys. Normally, the kind of content that you find on the Wiggy Woman channel is trying to help people bring that inner confidence out through some of the challenges that we face when we go through hair loss. But what I found in my weight loss journey is that some of those challenges are there too. Of course, I have definitely struggled with my self-confidence when it comes to my weight loss, which is why just about every one of my videos is filmed from the shoulders up. So while I haven't posted much about my weight loss journey, if this is something that you'd like to see in addition to my wigs and hair topper tips and tricks, definitely leave me a comment down below, like this video or subscribe to my channel so that I know that this is something that you guys want to see. So without further ado, let's get to it. These are five things that I've learned with losing 30 pounds in three months. The first thing that I learned while losing 30 pounds in three months is that you kind of need to know before you go. And this is something that I actually learned from reading a book, The um, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. And one of those habits is to begin with the end in mind. And so what that means is, is kind of thinking at the end of all of this, what do I want to accomplish? What are my goals? And for me, that was a BMI that was within the healthy range, not obese, not pre-obese, but I want to be in the healthy range. And part of that was really thinking why, why do I want to be in that range? Is it vanity? Is it energy? Is it my health and being around for my children? I really had to grapple with why I wanted to undertake such a significant life change because this has been a pretty significant life change. I couldn't continue to behave the way that I was behaving before because that is how I put on all of that extra weight. So I do have to make a pretty significant change. And part of that change, I mean, in any process, change is hard. And going through change, there's going to be some peaks and there's going to be some valleys. And during those valleys and those times that you want to give up and, you know, have that thing that you're not supposed to have, a lot of times I have to stop and think about why. Why did I want to get my BMI within the healthy range? Sometimes that means I go and snuggle my kids who I want to be around for and do something that's going to remind me why. So if you don't know why you want to lose weight, it's going to be really hard to stay motivated during those pretty tough times. The next thing that I learned during my journey to lose 30 pounds in three months is that you gotta have a plan. I've tried just about every diet that there is in the book. And as part of that, I always felt like I just kind of knew the right way to do things. And um, I think that that's true. I did know, you know, certain types of things are more nutritious than other things. But what I didn't know was kind of how to get my brain to choose the right things instead of the wrong things. So it wasn't necessarily a issue with understanding what I should be doing, but more an issue of willpower and motivation. So what was really important for me, and obviously everybody is going to be a little bit differently, but I chose a program that was not a crash diet. It was very important to me that if I'm going to go through all of this work to lose all of this weight, that it needed to be a lifelong, this is gonna be something that is gone for good. I really tried to find a program that was holistic and really tried to kind of balance the 
weight loss on the nutritional side, but also behavioral changes and your mindset and motivation. And I think for me, having that plan of knowing what to do when I get into situations that maybe in the past I would have fallen back on old habits, um, that plan and kind of going back to your training has been instrumental in losing 30 pounds in three months. The next thing that I learned along my journey of losing 30 pounds in three months was that it takes a village. Um, I really kind of equate this process of my weight loss. It's very similar to how I felt when I was pregnant. There are things that you can and can't do and you understand that there's an important reason why you have to set those boundaries with yourself. And I feel like when you're pregnant, everybody understands why you're not gonna have that glass of wine or you're not gonna do something that would be unsafe for your baby. But when you're trying to make healthy habits, sometimes it's a little bit harder for people to understand. And that's why it's really important to have a support system. There's going to be times that you feel unmotivated. There's going to be times that you feel pressured to partake in something that is not going to be a healthy choice. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a village to lose the weight after you've had a child. It's really important to have a network of people that when you feel like you are having a moment of weakness or you know maybe you're feeling a little bit out of control of your emotions and are tempted to make choices that aren't healthy for you, those people are instrumental in bringing you back and reminding you why you chose to do this. And you know, that village, it gets bigger and stronger every day, the more that you lean on folks and the more that you help others in their journeys as well. So it becomes like a give and take relationship where you're all bettering each other. And I think that that teamwork and that camaraderie and that village mentality really helps propel everybody towards their goals. The next thing that I learned during my journey to lose 30 pounds in three months is water, water, water. Uh, the program that I'm on, like I mentioned in my last tip, is all about support and being supported. And as part of that, I do have a coach who I absolutely love and I can hear in my head every day, water, 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 whether she says it or not. I just kind of have been trained now that water is my friend. I've had a lot of people who have asked me if I have done something different with my thumbnails or why, you know, my face looks so different in my videos. And part of that, of course, is losing 30 pounds in three months. But the other part of that is that I drink so much water. I drink a gallon of water a day. Um, but that water, it really goes to my skin. So my skin has been more hydrated. My body has been more hydrated and it's um, helped me to feel full in moments of weakness. It has helped me be more healthy in the choices of things that I'm drinking. If I'm drinking water and I'm satiated and I'm not thirsty, then I'm not going to be reaching for a sugary sweetened beverage. So it's really helped to kind of cut down on unnecessary empty calories, but it's also had some pretty great beauty benefits too. The last thing that I learned on my journey to losing 30 pounds in three months is to trust your body. And that is another thing that I guess I learned when I was pregnant with my babies is that I would be so worried about, you know, this isn't going to work or that's not going to work. Or, you know, logic says that this doesn't make any sense. Why am I doing this? And sometimes you have to just stop and trust your body and your body was meant to do this. Your body knows what's healthy and what's right. And while our metabolism changes as we get older, of course, as I hit the age that shall not be named, my metabolism really hit the brakes. And, um, you know, I still had to trust my body that it was going to do the right thing as long as I was doing the right thing for it. So, and since I chose a program that was based in science and medicine and was kind of focused on the, the whole person and lifelong changes and, and better habits instead of a crash diet, um, my body has responded really well to that. And I've just had to trust my body, even 
in periods where my weight loss has been relatively flat. I just knew that I needed to kind of keep going, that it was going to be a marathon and not a sprint. There's a reason that it's 30 pounds in three months and not 30 pounds in three days, because this is not a short term thing for me. I have a long ways to go. I have 60 more pounds to go. So this is something that, you know, I couldn't expect to happen overnight. And so even in those periods of plateau, I trusted that the program I chose, you know, I, I had done the right amount of research and that, you know, I did the right logical thing. I trusted that I was following the plan appropriately and I was doing everything that I was supposed to do and I kept at it. And sure enough, my body responded and I came out of those plateaus. So it was really something where, you know, I'm kind of a control freak and I always like to be in control. I always like to be the one who's making all of the decisions and I had to step back, trust in the people who were coaching me. I had to trust in the people who developed the program and I had to trust in myself that I was making the right decisions and following the program and that the weight loss would come. And it did. If you want to see more about my weight loss journey as I continue along my path to lose the remaining 60 pounds, definitely leave me a comment down below, like this video, or subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you never miss a wig review, tutorial, or maybe a weight loss update that I post weekly. If you have any other questions about my weight loss journey or how I lost 30 pounds in three months, definitely you can check me out on Instagram at the wiggy woman. I answer all of my DMs. So I'd be more than happy to answer any other questions that you have about my journey or maybe your journey, or maybe we can just support each other in the future. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next week.